Welcome everybody to our most recent episode of Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. Please email me people, your topics, your questions, your comments, whatever the case may be. We're looking for as many topics as we can so we can keep getting these video blogs up. So please email me topics and questions. We're looking for as much information as we can get. Um, what we're going to talk about today is a very important concept uh, in association with bed bugs. And it's the role of mattress and box spring encasements in bed bug management plans and as an early detection device for future bed bug infestations. Um, so what we have here is a mattress encasement um, made by the Protective Bed Company. Uh, in no way is this a marketing ploy for this particular encasement. Um, there are other encasements on the market that have been tested for their effectiveness on bed bugs. So I don't want anybody to think that this is the only product out there. Um, it's definitely not. Um, what I can direct you to is on bedbugcentral.com and on YouTube, there is a presentation that Rick Cooper gave at the ESA conference. Um, it was last year. And it evaluates a lot of different encasements on the market and their effectiveness against bed bugs, and more specifically, if bed bugs can escape from the encasement. So please uh, go check that out. Again, it's a presentation Rick Cooper did on the different encasements that are on the market. Um, and it's on bedbugcentral.com, and it's also available on YouTube. But anyway, back to the topic. So here we have an encasement. You can see this is the zipper on the inside. That's the zipper end stop where the zipper ends. Um, that's a common point of escape on certain encasements that don't work. Um, which leads me into one of the most important things that you want to take a look at when you're deciding on an encasement that you might want to use. And has that encasement been tested scientifically to be bed bug escape proof and bite proof? Two very important things that you need to look for because there are encasements out there that are going to claim that they're effective against bed bugs, but amazingly don't have the research to support that claim. And if that's the case, that's something you might want to stay away from because there are encasements out there that claim they might be effective and are not. So you want to make sure they have that research that they a lot of times will provide to you to show you that it has been tested and it is bed bug escape proof and bite proof. So as for encasements, there's two ways they can be viewed. They can be viewed as part of a bed bug management plan, which means that they're going to be used to treat a current infestation. And that's great and definitely something I support. Uh, and they can also be used as an early detection device. Let's address that one first. So what that means is that, say, you know, you live in a single family home, whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter. And you saw bed bugs on the news, you're concerned about possibly bringing them home, you travel occasionally. Um, you want to take every step you can to make sure if they come in, you know, you can possibly address it as quick as possible. This is not to be viewed as a preventative device. It is not going to stop bed bugs from coming into your home. But what it is going to do is make them very obvious and easy to, well, hopefully easier to treat if you do bring them back with you. And the reason I say that is, is can you imagine a nice bright red or brown bed bug sitting on this smooth white surface? Very obvious. Also, wherever they sit, they tend to go to the bathroom, as disgusting as that is, but they do. And there are these little black spots. And imagine black and red on this nice, smooth, white surface. Shows up very, very obviously. So that's one re way that these encasements can be used as early detection devices. Bed bugs get into your home, however, and you do inspections of your mattress and box spring periodically, going to show up real obvious on this surface. And that's a very important aspect of these encasements and it's something I completely support. Definitely a good thing to do. You're concerned, you travel a lot, go out, purchase a couple of these encasements, mattress and or box spring, and throw them on your bed. Um, it, it's definitely something that can help in the future. As part of a bed bug management plan, meaning you have bed bugs and the pest control companies out there and they're doing what they need to do, or maybe you're trying to handle it on your own, which we don't recommend, but maybe you are, um, these are also very, very valuable. Um, what they're intended to do is lock bugs in. If you've ever looked at the bottom of a box spring, they're very complicated and bugs tend to get deep inside box springs. You throw one of these encasements on, you zip it closed, you make sure it doesn't become compromised in any way, meaning it can't be torn or the zipper doesn't come undone. But if that is the case and it doesn't become torn or the zipper undone, those bugs that were maybe missed are now locked inside that box spring and they can't get out. And as long as that box spring stays closed for at least, we'll say, a, a year, um, those bugs are going to die. And it simplifies the situation when it comes to treatment. 
And then they can also be used as an inspection tool in the future, which goes back to the early detection device that I talked about before. Um, and what that is is that if bugs come from outside of the bed to the bed, it makes them very easy to see and very easy to deal with. So again, I highly support the role of encasements in both early detection and bed bug management. I think they're an integral part. Um, if a company is using them, you want to make sure they're using the right encasement, but if they are using the right encasement, that is definitely something you want to look for and it is definitely a positive thing. So in summation, encasements, good, as long as they're the right encasement. Um, and that's that. Uh, I hope this information helps because it is a topic that does get discussed from time to time. Again, Rick Cooper's ESA presentation on bedbugcentral.com and YouTube. Go check it out. You can see what encasements are out there, which ones are good, which ones possibly aren't. Um, email me, topics, questions. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Looking forward to it. Lots of things to discuss. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon enough. I will see you soon.